हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस एंड टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माय चैनल हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द स्टेगनेशन प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ दिस इज द लेक्चर फोर ऑन कंप्रेसिबल फ्लो आई सजेस्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच माई प्रीवियस थ्री लेक्चर्स ऑन कंप्रेसिबल फ्लो to watch them and then come again on this video and if you find this video helpful please press the like button do share it among your friends on whatsapp google plus twitter facebook etc do follow me on google plus whatsapp twitter facebook all the links are given in the description if you find this video helpful please press the like button if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section below and uh, i have given the links of the first three videos of compressible flow in the description so you can directly watch them by clicking on the links now local stagnation properties are those properties in a fluid flow which are obtained that would be reached if the fluid is brought to rest isentropically that is when a flowing fluid is brought to rest isentropically then the properties that would be obtained those are known as stagnation properties now this is hypothetical no such fluid no such process is there to brought to bring a fluid to rest isentropically so this is just theory based and uh, many of the questions are set on stagnation properties and uh, you have to calculate the various stagnation properties and then this is the main numerical portion of the compressible flow so we can write the equations using the energy equation that is h not is equal to h plus u square by 2 now h not is the stagnation enthalpy and that is equal to h plus u square by 2 now h is the static enthalpy and u square by 2 is dynamic enthalpy that is h is fixed and u square by 2 is due to motion of the fluid so now h because h is equal to cp into t so h not is equal to cp into t not and h is equal to cp into t so you can write cp t not is equal to cp into t plus u square by 2 so t not is equal to t plus u square upon 2 cp now u is given by m into c that is m into root gamma rt now u square is equal to m square into gamma rt so you can substitute the value of m square u square equal to m square into gamma rt and value of cp is gamma r, r upon gamma minus 1 so when we solve this relation gamma r gets cancelled and then what we are left is t not is equal to t plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square into t so you can take t constant take t separate in the bracket so you can write t not upon t is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square now this is the relation between temperatures and similarly we know that t t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 to the power gamma upon gamma minus 1 so we can write p0 upon p is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square whole to the power gamma upon gamma minus 1 similarly you, you know p similarly you know pv to the power gamma is equal to constant and uh, volume is equal to mass upon density so p into m upon rho to the power gamma is equal to constant now mass remains constant so what we are left is p upon rho to the power gamma is equal to constant now p upon rho to the power gamma is equal to p not upon rho not to the power gamma so rho not upon rho is equal to p not upon p to the power 1 by gamma So rho not upon rho is equal to one plus gamma minus one by two m square whole to the power one upon gamma minus one. Now we have found relation between pressures, temperature, and density. Now for air, gamma is equal to one point four. So you can substitute in the above equations, and the only Mach number is needed to find the relation. All right. And for different fluid, if it is given something like glycerin in like glycerin is flowing or kerosene is flowing so that they will have different value of gamma so this for air gamma is 1.4 now 
Now stagnation properties are also known as reservoir or total conditions in contrast to static conditions in flow. Now difference being termed as dynamic values. Now stagnation property suppose h is equal to h0 plus u square by 2 so h minus h0 is equal to u square by 2 and I have earlier told you that h0 is stagnation h is static and u square by 2 is dynamic so I have written that only that h0 minus h is equal to u square by 2 so stagnation minus static is equal to dynamic now integration of Euler's equation of motion is valid for compressible as well as incompressible flow that is integration of dp upon rho plus u square by 2 is equal to constant now p upon rho to the power gamma is equal to constant so we take rho to the power gamma on that side so p is equal to rho to the power gamma into constant now differentiating it so dp is equal to gamma rho to the power gamma minus 1 d rho into constant now substituting this value of dp in the above equation of Euler so integration c into gamma rho to the power gamma minus 1 up d rho upon rho plus u square by 2 is equal to constant now we can take out again we can substitute the value of c as p upon rho to the power gamma so here we are substituting back that is here we can write p upon rho to the power gamma in place of c so p upon rho to the power gamma into gamma into rho to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma minus 1 plus u square by 2 equal to constant so p upon rho because rho to power gamma minus 1 and rho you take gamma minus 1 down so what we are left is p upon rho into gamma upon gamma minus 1 plus u square by 2 equal to constant now suppose if u is 0 then p is equal to p naught and rho is equal to rho naught that is the stagnation the stagnation properties are reached if the flow is that is if the velocity is brought to 0 so in this equation you put p as p naught rho as rho naught and u equal to 0 so what we are left is p naught upon rho naught into gamma upon gamma minus 1 is equal to constant and since gamma upon gamma minus 1 is constant so we can merge with this constant so what we are left is p naught upon rho naught is equal to constant so final we can write p upon rho into gamma upon gamma minus 1 plus u square by 2 equal to p naught upon rho naught is equal to constant now this is the most important relation and uh, this concludes our converging diverging nozzle and the stagnation properties so if you have found this video helpful please press the like button do share it among your friends on facebook whatsapp twitter etc do subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed in the next video it would be compressible flow lecture number five and i would explain you the normal shock and oblique shock now till then Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.